How you guys and girls doing today? Timson I want here and in this video we're going over patch 0 0.10 the patch of the century. Let's go. She say do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub. I even got it tatted on me. 81 what is going on y'all how y'all doing today and like i always say i appreciate every single one of y'all stopping my videos y'all just aren't subscribers if you it's y'all family and i appreciate and love y'all and if you're new to the channel make sure to sub baby <laughs> and check out the social media y'all now let's get right into it first and foremost i want to say thank y'all for the continued support on the channel and man oh man y'all we are having the 0.10 patch and i have not been happier since 1942 man y'all released september 18th which is today which is my birthday what i'm 22 i'm old as shit but but all right y'all let's see so we're gonna go we'll get right into it so added improved network synchronization of doors synchronization of corpses position that's pretty cool adjusted grenade synchronization okay improved synchronization of loot that gets dropped on location redesigned control setting system a new redesigned system of network interpolation no, i can't even say that interpolation polation improving position of movement reduced delays oh that all sounds fancy i don't know what i just read but that sounds like it's pretty cool <laughs> uh i know it. i know what it has to do but i mean weapon parts and mods for sa58 the mosin nagant we're getting the mosin nagant this patch i heard people are excited about that because for for all of y'all who love using m61 being able to have an early in-game sniper to use to get that uh that armor piercing round you know instead of having to wait it's pretty good new covert movement skill new graphic settings to limit fps in the game and the menu so that'd be pretty cool uh, AI improvements. Let's see. All right, AI improvements. Let's see this here. Adjustments to unalerted boss behavior. Fix the bug that caused multiple bots to stand at one point. Uh, one point while on patrol. Now we've all seen that. You know when a, a bot would just be sitting there, he'll just be like, walk, like five or six of them be walking in place in front of a door. Fix the bug that caused the boss in his detail to get stuck in the grenade throwing posture. Okay. Adjust the grenade throw. Adjust it to the angle of the throw. That'll be pretty cool to see how that works. Fix the bug that prevented bots from checking their surroundings when stopping. All right. We've seen bots who are just frozen. The common bots are no longer aiming at the head. Ooh, what? They snuck that in there. That's a pretty big deal, y'all. Also, the common bots. So I'm guessing these are just like straight up, just like the normal bots uh, that are just on the ground. Maybe not sniper bots or, you know, of course, not the boss ones. But hey, that's something. The common bots are no longer aiming at the head. That's pretty cool. Holy shit. All right. All right. That's something now. Bots who have heard the sound of a firefight no longer look towards a potential target. Oh, okay. Fix the bug that caused the bot to search for a position on suppression request. Fix the bug that prevented bots from reloading while providing suppression. Adjusted where bots, no adjustments were made to bots hearing. Now they don't completely ignore the players behind their backs. Okay. Bots no longer shoot above them when they are prone. Thank the Lord. Okay. Okay. Cause you know, we've all seen it. Yeah, you're up high ground somewhere and a bot lays down prone. And you're like, okay, he can't shoot me because there's no way his gun can look up. And you just get insta headshotted. So that's definitely something cool. Optimizations, y'all. Now, let me tell you what. Okay, let's see. Because we got, oh, we got a whole bunch of fixes to go through. All right, let's see. Optimizations. Looting items handling optimization. All right, shadow performance optimization. Procedural animations performance optimization. Optimization of network traffic consumption. Optimization of weapon modifications and weapon models and LOD groups. Optimize character spawning in the raid, reduce frequency and severity of freezes on spawn, and fix various bugs that were causing other cases of freezes. Y'all, I'm excited. I'll talk about that in the video, how excited I am and how excited y'all should be for this. Uh, fix, fixes to locations. The curb stone near the new gas station that used to disappear prematurely. Fix the problem of players getting behind the gate at the paid exit with an SUV at the customs. I remember seeing that, oh my God. Uh, scab exit from the factory now doesn't overlap with the safe. Fix shadow ge geometry uh, and one of the wall gaps in the resort. Fix the catch between the crates at the factory that could get you stuck. Oh, okay. Uh, fix loot. 
zone, quest zones and bugs in the nighttime factory. Ooh, remember y'all that bug in nighttime factory? And for some reason, um, you couldn't extract. I wonder if you know oh, if they fixed that. Uh, custom gas station, color correction, uh, color correction of geometry. Uh, behind the two stored store I dorm at the customs fixed sticking catch in the resort on the second Okay, so these are like we don't have to go through all of these we can just skim through these but these are like all fixes to like certain parts of Let's see Victor factory that was causing the end of Yes, okay, this is what I was looking for. This is what I'm looking for because this has been notorious in the community. Yes, okay Oh my God, fix the factory door that was causing the invulnerability glitch. Excellent. Y'all know trying to extract. Bro, that's the, one of the main reasons why a lot of people, including myself, had given up on factory, bro. Because like, man, I love factory. Factory is like fast paced. It's like the nuke town of like uh, freaking Tarkov. And, and like, man, it, that glitch alone, man. Adjust the spawn points of the customs. Spawning algorithm that sometimes cause late and close spawns. Yes. Oh. Oh, spawning yes y'all i can't tell you how many times uh, previous you were spawning like and y'all know how tarkov is a minute or two minutes a minute or two minutes late into a raid is everything bro people are already up in your spawn before you can even cock your fucking gun handle back and that's the way that's that's what is that the charging hand? i don't even fucking know but what you know when you know when you're out of bullets and you shoot and you you it's, i don't know uh, adding new loot points and containers on the shoreline interchange bots can now see through glass at the idea entrance okay flashing light at the sawmill flashing chem lights at the interchange all right let's see this will be interesting Inter interface fixes thick screen overlapping that sometimes occur on server connection losses i remember that now the revert button only resets the current tab of the settings the pointer does not appear on the weapon modding screen fix tutorial soft lock learning on clicking back Weapons inspector now displays the correct weapon accuracy. Resolution change now requires a confirmation. Oh, okay. Settings now allow clearing of what has been assigned. The quick equipped action, Alt plus LMB, now plays a sound appropriate to the equipped item. Combining two stacks of rounds now plays an ammunition movement sound. Oh, okay. It is now possible to cancel the editing of controls. Cash from the reward screen now goes to stash on control. Oh, bet. If there were changes made to the settings of confirmation windows displayed, the depleted consumable items now disappear from the quick access bar. Death count now gets updated in the stats after the raid. Fix the bug that can keep the binding of items even after they are moved to the corpse. Uh, to a corpse. Timers don't twitch now. Change to a mono paste font. Uh, centered item pivots while searching containers of corpses. You now get to see how much space is occupied by the items that are not yet discovered. Ooh, okay. Fix bug while the wear extraction countdown will become negative. Oh, I remember seeing that. A uh, bug with the trader's resupply timer not refreshing now. It's updated in a couple of minutes. All right. Scab players now see the correct PMC name in the kill list if the dog tag was taken. Good. Because, I mean, we've seen things like, you know, when you've killed people and taken their dog tag and just question marks. So it's pretty cool to see their name. All right, let's see. Visual fixes. What the hell? Good God Almighty, this thing is a huge list, y'all. I'm loving, I'm loving every single second of this thing. Let's see. Uh, we, we, we do we already, okay, interface. Visual. Now, the vegetation is not disabled regardless of NVIDIA inspector settings. Oh, okay, okay. If there's a flashlight attached to the weapon, the weapon base doesn't cast a shadow. Remove the white stripe from the hammer while aiming. Oh, density, brightness, and, and searchlights. Uh, volumetric light is reduced by half. Improved shader to for glass visors. Uh, fixed a visual bug of grass. Show showing during the rain. A fixed bug that sometimes made the grenade explosion visible. Remove sun glare effect from reflex sights and scopes. Yes. Fix the field of vision change related bug that LED that led to problems in displaying scopes and reflex sights. Another fix another one that caused weapons to shoot off weapons to shoot off the reflex sights reticles uh a shot off corrected laser dazzle it now occurred <laughs> dazzle that's a funny word it now occurs if the, if the rays directed straight into the character's eyes uh oh, where am i at adjust the reflection intensity on materials of objects during the cloudy and rainy weather raindrops now don't appear from hands if the character gets shot 
uh, fixed black reticles of certain sites. Vision shader is now correctly displayed in the fog. Fixed LCAN optics bug that allows to zoom in perpetually. Fixed bug that caused night scope illumination to disappear when aiming at the glass. Corrected some inaccuracies and visual problems with movement and animations of the character in a third person. Third person. Fixed a noticeable disappearance of another person, uh, another player's lights depending on the perspective and distance. Fixed the reticle orientation in the reflex lights mountain uh, in alternative positions. Fix the bug that made reflex light reticles invisible on smoke. Improved display of equipment on the characters, especially scab, reduced clipping. Ooh, reduced clipping. Fix white spots on some of the weapon icons. Adjusted lighting effects the interchange. Helmet advisors no longer shine in the dark. And fix the distance of calling of helmets and headgear. Y'all, I don't know about you, but I'm loving reading every single second of these patch notes, y'all. This, I'm telling man, y'all must be bug. Oh, let's see. Fix various errors. Fix one of the reasons of for error 228 while separating a stack of rounds. Yes, y'all. Y'all know rounds and money when you're in your inventory and you know you trying to hurry up and get back in a raid. You're trying to separate you trying to separate put together rounds and you would just get that red. Come on now. Uh bug when throwing grenades from the quick access toolbar. The error that occurred while quickly moving ammo from stash to crammed inventory. Various server errors that were causing desync. <gasps> Various client errors that caused FPS to drop. Y'all, I'm telling you this patch, man. The error that appeared to, to bind on binding and use the console key, the error to moving an object on another container when it linked, the error that disabled the door to racks the doors to off live over after a single instance. Y'all, oh my goodness, I'm excited. Okay, let's see. Um Miscellaneous fixes. Now we're not gonna go over every single one, but we you know we can skim through this. Let's see. Uh sync, fix sync of armor durability when armor is looted from a dead body, fix logic error and armor penetration calculation from bots, fix various bugs causing problems, registration. Okay, so registration hits, calculation, armor penetration, uh a bug that allowed the character to stand up uh while under some object, discarded objects fall to the floor. Uh let's keep on going, let's keep on going. Fix the bug that had all character skills maxed out. Holy shit. Uh, that sometimes caused arm hits to not register. Fixed bug that caused discarded weapons to bounce. Oh my goodness, y'all. The arm weapon. I, shh. Fixed bug that caused the player to remain in a matchmaking stream after clicking on the back button while loading. Yes! Fixed the bug that made med kit unusable if a player was injured during treatment. Oh, baby! Yes! When you had a thing hot barred, an IFAK or um, uh, something hot barred, and it wouldn't let you heal up, but like you would see that bar at the bottom. And it would not let you heal up, and you're like, bro, my weapons are, I mean, my my um, my meds are glitched. And you're in the middle of a firefight where you're taking cover. Thank the Lord that allowed a player to keep along with the back in the permanent location already started. Ooh. An ability to pass through the door sideways. Fixed ability to jump through the ceiling or dorm the floor above the regular jump. Ah, that's on customs. Fixed the bug that prevented discarding items from the stash. Fixed the bug that made the bodies twitch while or oh, for a while after death. Uh, fixed the bug of character core disappearing after reconnect. Uh, let's see, a bug that prevented a player from reducing the death sounds in first person. There were no audible hits either. Fix third person arm twisting when the character is getting aggressive. <laughs> Damn it. I wanted them to keep that, man. Hey, that arm twist is pretty cool, okay? I, li I like the arm twist. God damn it. That was pretty cool. When, like, you know, when you, like, when you saw a dead body and their arm was, like, twisted 360 degree. Um, fix bug with twisted <laughs> Uh Guardian Quest Part 1 where Survivor X from location condition was not observed. Uh, bug with empty handed player being able to change weapons and equip uh, various skill fixes, various minor balance fixes, fixed rate of fire link to yes, oh baby, yes, y'all. Oh my goodness, refix the rate of fire link to FPS problem. Oh my goodness, uh, desync bug when loading shotgun cells reduce the amount of network lag on the death of other characters, fixed a glitch with vests and secure containers, which would make players invulnerable. A bug that swapped indoor sounds for outdoor sounds and back. Oh my goodness man y'all let me know in the comments below if y'all had that problem yes when you like when you're outside and it still sounds like you're inside and you're inside and it still sounds like you just hear the trees and the wind oh my god like what could you do you would get killed because of that fix the bug that would keep a weapon lifted in the air without any obstacles nearby player scabs will now have the starting equipment examined by default yes and finally 
changes. Increased chance of fracture from bullets and hits. That's pretty good. I was honestly thinking after you get your health, I think is it health? I think after you got your health up a couple of levels, you really wouldn't have to worry about fracture. I mean, from fall damage, anything like that. And I mean, well, even bullets too. You wouldn't have to worry about uh, fractures and stuff as much. That's, I'm really happy because like, I feel like splints aren't used enough. So that's a pretty good uh, change. Trade, trader filters now had all the items that are not included in the filter. The armor fence could not sell, now gets removed faster. Ah, okay. Remove animation of character pulling up to the doors, hoods, loot containers, um, except for knocking doors down. Added setting entries for screenshots and console. Oh, enhance the brightness of some reflex sight reticles. If you walk up to the wall or to another character, weapons get lifted later. First, it is pulled closer to the body. Yes! Yes, y'all! Hatchlings! Yes, okay, so it does not, it's not immediate. It's not immediate anymore. I was about to say, okay, good, good. Because, I mean, w people have had discussions on that in the forums and everywhere, y'all. That in a real life situation, if someone's walking up close towards you, the barrel's gonna go on their stomach and you're gonna shoot before the gun goes up in the air. So, yes, at least they gave you a little, you know, a few minutes. Like, okay, you need to kill this person while the gun is still before it goes up in the air. So, yes and death from third person the weapon now doesn't stay in the hands but drops down as if uh on a sling okay now the fallen bodies are killed take into account the velocity of the bullet Ooh. pressing escape in the settings menu after making changes to settings will prompt you to save or discard if a player leaves the raid leave game via the escape menu not through the exit his character dies on the server not the case with the connection loss oh reduce the frequency of thunder sounds oh my goodness yes now glasses and break when you're just passing near it jesus yes y'all yes yes y'all that shit scared the hell out of me on customs and near that damn g desk uh adding more information to some of the air messages y'all okay since we at the end of this all i gotta say i can't wait for it all i gotta say y'all this uh, let me just talk to you for a second y'all for those who don't want to hear me just uh, talk for a second you know videos over but y'all let me just tell you this i have not been more excited for a patch what is this what the hell is going on there i have not been more excited oh cutting i have not been more excited for a patch uh, this ho my whole life y'all playing this game i have not been like Yes, and I and a couple other people were saying the same thing. I mean, you know, it really depends because this game is like I said, some people get optimized, some people, you know, uh, have like it's weird, you know, some people who have systems that aren't as good as mine or aren't as good as like 1080 ti's or crazy cpus run better than you know the game's really random how it treats your system it's all cra it's crazy i can't really explain it it would go on, it would take too long but you know for those who have fps problems stuff like this y'all like like y'all know like i need to see a noticeable difference like all this stuff is telling me it's gonna be a noticeable difference like y'all this could this is a game changer like me personally yes i like when they add guns i like when they add items but i feel like their number one problem was optimization their number one problem was glitches uh, uh hackers of course um desync fps drops you know crazy things like that you've seen streamers get killed by it all the time you've seen it in clips you've seen it like you know i really feel like that was and let me know in the comments below you know what you think so I mean, personally, this was one of the biggest problems, y'all. So, honestly, y'all, this is a game changer. When I get on, when this patch releases, right now it's like about it's like 6 a.m. in the morning, so it might not be until the evening. Um, but when this patch releases, y'all, when I if I see a noticeable difference, like a super de duper noticeable difference, y'all, th it's a game changer. Like, I've been playing this for a minute, but I was taking a break. And I wasn't playing this shit every day because number one, I don't really like playing it solo. And number two, like it was just, it's just too broken. Like the game is just too broken. Y'all, if this, if this, all of this is true and there is a big difference, y'all, I'm gonna be playing this shit every day. 
every single day yo i really i'm, I'm looking for i really hope i really hope this patch lives up to the expectations and it gave me it kind of it, it sounds weird but it gave me really good hope when i realized that uh they had to push it back a week i was like good the more they work on it the better but let me know what y'all thought of this video and i will catch y'all in the next one i'll probably see all y'all for those who come by the stream twitch.tv slash chips and i went eight same as his youtube channel name i'll probably be on later on today for a birthday stream i will catch all of y'all later allie out yeah, Magini chain, rest in peace to my superior. Hermes, Linka, feed a village in Liberia. TMZ taking pictures, causing my hysteria.